Hello, I'm David Stoddard. I'm Director of Research for Business Intelligence with TDWI. And it's my pleasure to be uh, talking today with Sean Rogers, who is VP of Research for Business Intelligence and Data Warehousing with Enterprise Management Associates. How are you doing, Sean? David, it's good to see you. I'm doing great. Good. Well, here we are at TDWI uh, World Conference, um, another round of conferences starting 2012, so in Vegas. And um, so we're going to talk about big data, which is one of the major trends uh, in BI and data warehousing right now that organizations are trying to get their, their uh, minds around, if not their arms and anything else they can throw <laughs> at it. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, Sean, what, what are your impressions of big data? I mean, there's a lot of definitions out there. People are trying to still figure out what the heck it is. Um, what do you think? What you, you know, defining big data is difficult, and I think that there's a, a lot of definitions out there. And I think one of the things that's important to remember is, is even though it sounds new to us, and, and I think the press has done a good job of putting a lot of marketing buzz around big data, it's not as new as I think some folks would like us to think it is. I, you know, I think big data has been around a good long time. Uh, it's just in the past you needed a federal grant and a couple yeah. of cray computers to do it. Uh, and a lot of big data analysis or analytics were done in the scientific worlds. And, mm -hmm. you know, and we would read papers about that but, and, and we would hear about some of the things they were doing there, but it wasn't always applicable to the enterprise. So yeah. I, I think that uh, it's not as new as we all think it is. Mm -hmm. As far as defining it, I think that that's kind of a moving, bouncing ball right now. Mm -hmm. I think big data is being done on a lot of different platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Hadoop is certainly one that people are talking about an awful lot because yeah. uh, it has that cachet of being open source. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of folks felt that the Hadoop stack was going to be something that would be easy to jump into. Mm -hmm. um, that's not necessarily the case either. I think there's some yeah. special skill sets that are required uh, to work on it. Uh, from a definitional standpoint, uh, you know, I like the three V's, the velocity, mm -hmm. the volume, and variety, and I think mm -hmm. when three V's are there in your data, you're certainly uh, looking at a big data challenge. I think workload plays a role there as mm -hmm. well. Um, and I think really it gets down to big data, I think, uh, generically speaking, is a data challenge that makes us think differently and use different tools than maybe we've used in the past, or at least different methodologies that leverage existing systems and new systems. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's a lot of different use cases. So I, I guess I'm not being as definitive as maybe mm -hmm. you would hope, but uh, I think it's still a, very much a moving ball, um, I think, uh, and it will be for quite a while until we start to see some more significant use cases and mm -hmm. examples of how people are pulling value from it. Bottom line though, I think uh, big data analytics is highly valuable to many companies mm -hmm. and I think it's exciting that we can do it. Great, well that, that's great stuff. I mean, that's, that's really helpful. You had mentioned, uh, <clears throat> you know, workload is something and uh, you know, one issue I think a lot of organizations think of when they think big data, is this gonna be a brand new system? Uh, can this, is this something I can implement on existing systems? What do you think the, how that's going to play yeah, well, out. Well, and I think it does live on or work on existing systems, mm -hmm. and workload is certainly a key that gets, I think, dropped out of this conversation around big data mm -hmm. all too often. Yeah. Um, I think that while you can have the volume, the velocity, the variety aspects of the challenge, the real core to the challenge is, is what type of analytics are you attempting mm -hmm. to do? What problem are you trying to solve? And I think that there's been a shift in our world recently, and you mm -hmm. and I have been around probably longer than we care to admit, <laughs> um, but you know, we used to only talk about enterprise data warehouses, and eh, you know, we got a little flexible and included data marts and other platforms yeah. there, but really the enterprise data landscape mm -hmm. has really widened recently. There's, there's yeah. cloud, there's uh, big data frameworks like we're talking about now, there's mm -hmm. analytic appliances, uh, uh, there's uh, data marts and, and operational systems, and they're mm -hmm. all part of this landscape now. And Because the landscape has gotten so wide, we're now plugging and playing the right data hmm. and the right workloads on the right platforms. And yeah. so when big data comes into play, we're looking again at what we already have and what we mm -hmm. might need that's new and we're trying to find the right home for the right problem. Mm -hmm. So Hadoop is a great answer to a lot of people's big data problems, but mm -hmm. frankly, uh, so are relational databases. I think uh, SQL can substantiate and work well in some big data instances where mm -hmm. non-SQL uh, works uh, even better in others. So I think it really gets down to what your workload is, what you're trying to get done, and what platforms you have at your disposal uh, to bring these things together. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, I think you're right that things have been evolving already. Yeah. So you've got, you know, cloud and then analytic databases, the columnar kind of sure, stuff. So there's absolutely. a lot of new technology that's uh, in this market mm -hmm. right now. So it's, um, yeah, so that, that's a good point. Um, you know, we've been hearing a lot to, at this conference, uh, the BI Executive Summit that we've been holding and that, Sean, you're going to be speaking yeah, at yeah. any minute now. Yeah, about a, yeah, about a half um, hour. 
How about uh, data scientists? You know, the, and data science, data scientists are really strongly associated with big data. Um, what are you hearing about data scientists? Uh, you know, I, I was at an event a couple of weeks ago as an analyst. I get to go to a lot of user groups and hear a lot of people talk. And I, mm -hmm. I heard a gentleman who was big in the analytics side of LinkedIn, uh, the mm -hmm. online kind of professional community. And he was talking and sharing some of their analytics with us. And he mm -hmm. said that uh, data scientists, the search for that job title, mm -hmm. is in the upper 95th uh, or the top yeah. you know, percentile of what they see as uh, people are concerned about right mm -hmm. now from job titles. So obviously data scientists has struck a nerve. Mm -hmm. um, I think that a data scientist is also a moving target, yeah. much like the big data conversation. <clears throat> uh, you know, someone asked me yesterday during a meeting, well, what type of, uh, what type of uh, college background should they have? And I mm -hmm. went, <laughs> you know, I mean, is it statistics? Is it, is it, you know, probably, but do they have to have a business background? And I mm -hmm. think yes. I, th I think a data scientist has to stand on both sides of the fence. Yeah. They have to have a foot on the business side and a foot on the analytics side, and mm -hmm. they have to have a, a skill set that comes together over the platforms that you're using for big mm -hmm. data analytics. Um, and so uh, these guys are unique. Um, but yeah. bottom line, I think a data scientist is like a business analyst or a data analyst on steroids, mm -hmm. right? Somebody with even bigger skill sets and a broader view of the business uh, that can bring uh, information to the decision makers that they can act on. So I'm excited about the whole data scientist mm -hmm. aspect of things. But once again, I think just like big data, it, it too is a moving definition. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it sounds cool. Um, but yeah, we've been having a lot of discussion, as I mentioned, about it at the executive summit, and you know whether these roles are already being taken by business analysts or data analysts, or is this somebody new? And you know, um, yeah, it's very interesting yeah. how it's going to play there out. There was research uh, that was cited, and I apologize, I, I don't have the uh, actual source, but New York Times ran an interesting mm -hmm. article a couple of days ago, and they talked about mm -hmm. data scientists. And one of the interesting pieces that came from that uh, that article wasn't just about where do we find those data scientists, but they also mm -hmm. said they expect there to be a large gap in the uh, enterprise of mm -hmm. managers who are able to apply analytics and understand them and act on them. So really? while the data scientists are going to be dealing out these uh, the, this information in mm -hmm. a fast and furious manner, uh, the business is going to have to catch up to be able to take the information and act on it. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you've done an awful lot of research in uh, social media, mm -hmm. and of course data scientists are supposed to be looking, or yeah. they often are at LinkedIn, place like that, is social media data. Um, you know, uh, just is, is sort of thinking of it in sort of the big data tent. I mean, is social media data going to be absolutely? Huge? You know, you, you look at social data; it is highly variable. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, voluminous, uh, to say yeah. the least. Uh, the fire hose of Twitter is a remarkable yeah. data source just in itself, and that's mm -hmm. only one of many, many platforms that are available. And really, you know, there's five data types that companies are looking at. There's mm -hmm. this rich media mm -hmm. of social media. There's uh, behavioral information, sentiment information, mm -hmm. uh, geo information. Um, all of these <coughs> things kind of are coming together in a big data tent, as you said, yeah. uh, that people are looking at. Uh, the other one, of course, is social graph analysis, which is mm -hmm. a very difficult analytic uh, process to go through that require uh, special tools. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, as more companies adopt social uh, data, they'll also have to adopt skill sets around big data and uh, and have people there to run those uh, those environments. Yeah, it's certainly a huge source of uh, data. You know, I think for companies, I was talking to somebody the other day who uh, they don't actually have a lot of customer data that they collect, and so they're looking at social data as a way they can get into customer data. Uh, augment it, right? Yeah, augment yeah. it, right? Uh, so it should be very interesting. Yeah. So. Um, well, Sean, maybe some concluding thoughts. Where are we going to be a year from now, you think, with big data? You know, I think, I hope uh, with big data, some of the marketing uh, <coughs> varnish has been rubbed off. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, things will settle in um, when we'll see big data operating in different areas of our, mm -hmm. our data management landscape. I think it uh, will still be buzzworthy at some level. Yeah. Um, and I think more companies will be adopting it. Right now, adoption of big data uh, analytics is still very low. It's very embryonic. And yeah. I think in a year from now, when you and I are sitting at an event together talking about it, I think we'll be talking about some of the more interesting use cases. Uh, that's a great part mm -hmm. of our jobs is we get to hear those use cases early. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you and I will get to hear some really interesting stories over the next year. Definitely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was great being here.